What's up everyone? It's Oscar Alcala, DP and cinematographer for Sammy's Camera, and today we're going to be going over file management. Now thanks to our partners at Sandisk Professional, I'm going to be showing you how to set up my brand new G Drive armored ATD hard drive for storage and transferring footage. Now I want to begin by telling you guys that this video is going to be me setting up my external hard drives and in no way is this the only method of file management. It's simply the method I use to keep myself organized and I think it'd make for a great starting point for someone who has just picked up their first external hard drive. So stick with me, we're going to jump on the computer and go through the steps necessary to get all of our files and our folders set up so we can start transferring footage. Let's start by plugging in our external hard drive via the USB cable provided. Some drives will ship with USB-C and USB-A. If your computer supports USB-C, I would opt to use that as USB-C is capable of faster transfer speeds. Transfer speeds are going to be dependent on your drive and computer components. We're going to be working on a Mac platform today and for all of you that are running Windows let us know down in the comments below if you would like to see a video just like this one but on Windows. So let's start by opening our drive and you should see the drive icon appear once the drive is plugged in. In case you don't see it you'll want to jump into disk utility and on the left hand column select your drive and you'll want to reformat it. Start by clicking on Erase. This will bring up a window where in the drop down menu, you'll be able to select XFAT or Extended Journal if you're exclusively working on Mac OS. Please make sure you've selected the appropriate drive as the process will erase everything in the drive. And now that we've assured our drive is plugged in and our computer can read it, let's jump into our drive as this is where we'll be building our file structure with folders. So I recently came back from vacationing in Cancun with my family, and I took family photos. The drive on my computer is nearing its maximum capacity, and I don't want my computer to slow down. And I'd like to store my images on my external hard drive as I have way more space and will create a faster workflow when I work on them in Lightroom. Working off of an external hard drive will also increase the performance of your computer since it's not having to read both the software you're using and the media you're editing. Be mindful that this is also dependent on the read and write speeds of your external hard drive. Let's get our SD card out of our camera and plug it into our card reader. You can also use a USB port on the camera to plug in directly to your computer. I recommend using a card reader as this tends to be the fastest method. Let's create a folder by right clicking anywhere in our drive window and selecting new folder. I'm going to be naming this folder Cancun Family Vacation 2021. Now inside this folder, I'll create another folder and name it after the camera I used. In my case, this was shot with a Sony a7R 4 Since I shot JPEG images, I'm going to create a separate folder labeled JPEG images. And while we're here, I'm going to go back one step and in our Cancun Family Vacation 2021 folder, I'm going to create a separate folder and label it Lightroom Exports. This is where I will store my edited images exported from Lightroom. Now we'll jump into our JPEG images folder, double click on our SD card, 
find our images, select them all, and drag them over to our external hard drive. Okay, now that our images have finished transferring to our external hard drive, let's show you how to create a master Lightroom catalog. I'm gonna back out of here. I'm gonna create a folder and label it 2021 Lightroom catalog. This is where we'll be saving our Lightroom project files. You can create as many catalogs as you like, but I store all my work from the year in one master catalog. Later on in the video, I'll be showing you how to create a collection within a Lightroom catalog to help you stay organized within the software. Now let's go ahead and launch Lightroom on our computer and I'll show you how to create a new catalog that we'll be storing on our external hard drive. I'm gonna go ahead and open up Lightroom. Click File on the top bar and select new catalog. This is where we'll name our Lightroom catalog and choose where it's saved. I'm gonna name it 2021 Master Catalog and select our drive from the left column and finally our Master Catalog folder we created before. Hit create. Now you'll see that Lightroom will open the new catalog we created. Now let's go ahead and close Lightroom and try to open up our new catalog from our external hard drive. Click on the drive icon, open our master Lightroom catalog folder and finally click on the Lightroom catalog file. This will open our Lightroom catalog. Now that I got my project all set up, let's start importing our JPEG images into Lightroom where I'll be working on them later. In the library tab, select import. Let's start by selecting our drive and navigating to our JPEG images. Here we select specific images to import, but today I'll be importing all the files in the folder. Once I have the files I want selected, on the right hand column, I'm gonna click collections and the plus button. I'll name my collections after the event and select import. You can label your collections folders anything you want. You could use dates, locations, or in my case, events. Now, since we created a collection set of images, we can now recall our Cancun images by selecting the Cancun Family Photo Collection set. And here's all our images ready to edit. Once I'm done with my edits, I'll select the images I want to export, click on File, select Export, and make sure I save them to the folder we created earlier. And here they are. We can go back and look, and make sure they're saved in the correct location. And that's how I save my images when I'm working with Lightroom or just saving photos. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and close Lightroom. Now here at Sammy's, we shoot a lot of video as well. So let me go over how I organize and store my video files. On the same SD card we plugged in earlier, I have a project we shot in Malibu. This is what I'll be transferring to my external hard drive. I'm gonna create a folder in our hard drive using the same steps I showed you before and label it Malibu Pier Brunch. You can name your folders whatever you want to help you stay organized via be a date or uh, the event, a location, whatever is best for you. In this folder, I'm gonna create another folder and label it footage. In this folder, I'm gonna create one more folder and I'm gonna label this folder S-Log3. 
This is going to inform whoever opens the footage that they need to convert it inside their video editing software. And within this folder, you can create separate folders for your A-roll footage and B-roll footage. Now we're going to go back to our SD card. We're going to find our footage, select it, and drag and drop it into our folders. Great, now we know where all our footage is at. And that's how I organize my external hard drives I use to save and transfer stills and video files. I hope you found this helpful and I hope to create more tutorials for you guys in the future. Well, there you have it guys. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and I want to remind you guys that this is not the only method of file management. So if you have your own method, I'd like to welcome you to post it in the comments below as I'm sure it'll help somebody else out. So if you guys like this video, please hit that like button and consider subscribing to our YouTube channel for more great content from us here at Sammy's Camera, where we are so much more than a camera store. That's it for us here today. Have a great day. Bye.